Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing from Design Your Cube. Design Your Cube was kind enough to actually send me some of their cubes to uh, try out. And if you guys don't know what Design Your Cube is, is uh, they're a it's a website where you pretty much can design your own picture cubes. But rather than putting stickers on, it's they print it onto the cube, and I've heard lots of amazing things about them. So they were kind enough to let me design one, and then they, they sent that here. And here there's a little note. Hello Matthew. First, the team would like to thank you for expressing your interest in Design Your Cube products. I have included in this parcel some notable works of Walter uh, Randall Randall Schaffer, the Globe Cube, Zebra Cube, Birch Beam Cube, and the Mirror Maze Cube. Also included is Design Your Cube's own design, the United Square, Four Colors, Have Fun, Design Your Cube team. Alright, so thank you very much Design Your Cube for sending these. I really do appreciate it. That was get these out. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, and they sent the three that I designed. Oh my god. This is one of the best unboxings I've ever done. Like, oh my god, this looks amazing. So the reason, these three are off camera because of, uh, I want to show you them last. But wow, these look so nice. Here are the five that they sent. These are all on V cube 2, or not V cube. All on twos, two by twos. So here, uh, does it have the name of them on it? Anyways, here, there's this. That turns really smoothly. I'm not going to scramble it just yet. Okay, I can open it from the bottom. Here, there is a the maze one. So this is really cool. And so it's printed on there. So this is like a stickerless cube, in a way. So here we have the globe. Let's see, there is a... Uh, where is... Okay, so that's Africa. Australia. Then North America, South America. Alright, that looks nice. Turns just fine. You see corner cutting on these. Because the corner cutting is not the greatest, but you don't really need to speed cube these. This one is the zebra cube. I'm not sure what the name of that one was. This is the zebra, I'm assuming. That looks really cool. Looks like a, like a, a cube stand on the cube. Turns nice. And then this last one, before we get on to the three designs that I made, I'd I wasn't expecting them to send all the designs. I made I made like a list of the of the order I would want them, and they decided to send all of them. So thank you very much. This is the birch one. So it's like a tree with the rings. This is really cool. All right, so now on to the good stuff. So first, we have things that have been a huge part of my life. There's YouTube, there's the LA Kings, which is a hockey team, there's the Rubik's Cube, Guitar Hero, I went through a huge phase and I kind of recently just picked it up again. Then Pokemon, this is my favorite Pokemon, Alakazam, and then Call of Duty has also been a huge part of my life, so. Uh, this is the Life Cube, I guess. Here's Checkerboard, it looks terrible. Anyways, this is amazing quality. Like, just the Call of Duty logo right here. It's amazing. Alright, now on to the second one. These are my three favorite cubing channels. And then included are three channels that have made, that, uh, they made a huge influence on uh, just me being on YouTube. Because I've been on YouTube since 2008. And I'll be uh, revealing that channel, my first channel, which is really embarrassing. I'll be revealing that, I think, either at 10,000 subscribers or... At my uh, seven year anniversary. Or it might be eight year anniversary. I kind of don't really know. Anyways, we have Crazy Bad Cuber, his logo here. We have Just Keep Cubing's logo, which, if you guys don't know, I actually made the logo. I like it. And then there is Alex Devani, who is one of my best friends now. And I'm really glad that I actually met him through cubing because that's pretty cool. Anyways, next, my favorite YouTube channel of all time, Vsauce. If you guys haven't, uh, a scene of Vsauce, go ahead and check him out. Actually, just click on the on the 
uh, logo right now to go to Crazy Bed's channel, Just Keep Cubing's channel, Alex Devani's channel, and Vsauce. And then go ahead and click for Retin Link. Or if you guys haven't seen Retin Link, go subscribe to Retin Link. And then also their second channel for a Good Mythical Morning because it's an amazing little show. And I even have a mug that Alex Devani gave me for Christmas. So that's really cool. And then the first channel I ever subscribed to and the reason I made a YouTube channel was SMP Films. That stands for Simply Minded People Films. And it's not he's not big at all. Maybe he has like 40,000 subscribers, but he just moved to Alaska, which is pretty cool. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do checkerboard on this. And then we can get on to my favorite one, which it, all the colors on the other one uh, turned out a bit lighter than I was expecting, but still looks really cool. Here's checkerboard. All right, so there is that one. And then we have my logo a bunch of times. So red, red, white, blue, orange, green, yellow. I turned it a lot dark, a lot lighter than I was expecting. But still, this looks really cool. Checkerboard looks actually decent on this because it's the regular color scheme. And oh, wow, these just look so amazing. And I'm really glad that they sent all three and all of these. Alright, so I decided to scramble some of these after showing them to my parents because I'm really excited. I'm going to go ahead and scramble this. You can't speed cube with these at all, but uh, they're also coming out with a cubic cube right now. Right now they have a mini 2x2 magnet, a um, mini 2x2 keychain, regular flat 2x2, pillow 2x2, and then uh, a pillow 3x3. They don't have the cubic one yet, but that is coming out soon. So there are all of the puzzles scrambled that I will scramble for now. These two I'm going to go ahead and leave, and then I'll get back to you and tell you guys the quality of all of these. Alright, so it's been a day, and I've had the time to solve each and every one of these, and I even noticed something really cool about one of these. So I just wanted to give my thoughts on all of them. Uh, my favorite one of the uh, five 2 by 2s is definitely the birch tree. And the way I solve it is first I solve these two, and then there are some lighter sides and then some darker sides, so it's a little, it's kind of easy to solve. This one I had to go back and watch my video to see what colors went where, and this one I think turns the best of the 2 by 2s and the corner cutting has not improved after a couple solves. Uh, the globe, pretty fun, I guess. So now I have two globes. The Rubik's World, which is a pretty cool puzzle, and then this. Now the way I solve it is first I solve that, and then I uh, solve South America because uh, there are those two little parts on the bottom of those two pieces. And then I just solve the rest. Kind of, uh, I kind of eyeball it. Then there is the zebra cube, which I think is a very fun puzzle to solve. I, I start with the, uh, these. And then there are some pieces that are the same, and so it might look like you have some sort of parity, but I just switch the two pieces and then it should be solved. Then, the really cool thing about this maze cube is no matter how you scramble it, it is always solved. There's always a maze. So this is amazing, if you will. Hopefully I just cued a laugh track right there, because that was pretty hilarious. But seriously, this is really cool. So, let's just try and follow this. Actually, no, okay, so that. Go there. And go around. And then there's a dead end. Okay, there's dead ends all the ways on that one. But this is really cool. I really, really do enjoy this one. You can... I honestly just kind of sat there scrambling it for like two minutes just because it was a lot of fun just turning it. Then, on to the uh, custom ones. I have tensioned all of them, and they're, they turn a lot better now. The only problem I had with them when I was solving them is that some of the center caps fall off. So, on the YouTube channel one with Just Keep Cubing, Alex Devani, The Nub, Vsauce, Rent and Link, by the way, there's The Good Mythical Morning. They have a, a little separate show which is actually, uh, it just started again, starting January 12th. Uh, Simply Minded People Films and Crazy Bad Cuber. Uh, Alex Devani's, uh, the center cap keeps popping off, so as you can see right there, it's kind of like lifting up. 
and it pops a lot. So I'm probably going to have to put some paper in there. So that will hopefully fix that. And it also, uh, the center's popped on the other ones too. The to Cube Dude logo one, this one is my favorite. And uh, the corner cutting has improved after tension, tensioning it. So now I can do just underline the line with some force. And then reverse, there's pretty much nothing. Uh, let's take a look at the pieces. The pieces are all the same, and then I'll do a quick size comparison. But let's go ahead and get out the edge right here. Pretty simple edge. And then a pretty simple corner. I've not taken apart the corners or edges, but I don't really think you'd have a, a need to do that. Putting them, back, putting them back in, not too hard. Uh, to get the center caps off, it's kind of hard. You can't really pry your finger under it. So what I had to do is I had to take a knife and kind of go along the side and kind of pop it out. And for some of them, I had to go in from the corner and pop it out. Uh, but I really do love this logo one. I think it looks really cool. So this is like a one-of-a-kind cube, and I'm really glad uh, they were kind enough to send it to me. Then this one turns really nice. This is my life cube. It has Call of Duty on it. Let's try and focus in on this. Call of Duty, Los Angeles Kings, cubing, Guitar Hero, YouTube, best part. Pokemon, and I think I missed, did I miss one? No, I think I got it all. So uh, there are all the sides of that, and I guess I'll just scramble this one right now. So it turns really nice, and compared to a regular picture cube that you would find in a store, for example, this one, I have two of these, this one turns terribly, and as you can see, there's stickers, so for those of you that couldn't already tell, these are picture cubes that have been... Uh, they're custom, and you can, uh, they, what do they do? They print it directly onto the cube, so there's no stickers. It's like a stickerless cube, except they don't show on the uh, edges right there. But yeah, they turn a lot better than these really crappy picture cubes. So here you can see the size comparison between a 57mm Gans 3 and the DYC Pillow 3x3. Comparing the 57mm cube to the 2x2s, there's that size comparison. Anyways, I'm really happy with the way all these turned out. I'm really glad DYC was able to send these to me. And I would highly recommend you guys go make your own. And on the website, it's actually really fun. Uh, it wouldn't work on Safari for me, so I opened it on Chrome and it worked perfectly. And you could uh, make your own designs, and then you could either make them private. I think mine are private, so that no one else can uh, print them. But you can decide to make it public and have other people print them, and then you can interact with the cube, so you can solve the cube on the website, see what it looks like scrambled, and uh, I guess some colors do turn out lighter than you'd expect, but the quality is still absolutely fantastic, especially on this one. It's amazing. Once again, laugh track right there. Uh, but So I think these would make for some really good gifts. So maybe a Mother's Day gift or a gift to a grandparent because uh, then you can put like pictures of your whole family on there or some things that they love. Uh, these are just great. They're better than printing them on the stickers for sure. And the price, they are a bit pricey, but I think they're definitely worth it because the quality is amazing. And I would also highly recommend tensioning these and getting just the regular Cubic 2x2s unless you prefer pillowed. And they will soon have Cubic 3x3s that you can print on. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are DYC. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.